Hey, um, once again, my air conditioner is on. You know how it goes. You gotta hear the muffled noise in the back. It's still hot. I'm still in New York. Nothing has changed. So today's video is gonna be how to gain confidence because one of the people on my Instagram assumed that I have a lot of it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to feel good about yourselves and yeah. The first step to gaining confidence is making negativity your bitch. I'm sorry for the language, but that's what it is. You need to own everything. When it comes to confidence, one of the first things you gotta do is stop believing what everybody says. I'm still not even over that. I don't even know how to go about this. This is how, I'm, I'm gonna say how like, how I have confidence and stuff. Like how I got my confidence and how, I don't know, how I became this just because I don't know how to tell people how to gain confidence. So, number one, I have always hated my nose. And it's because this is my good side. Even the, the way the shadow hits my face, like on this thing, because like it's a nice little triangle. And then this side, it's big. I never got over that. I'm confident and I still have insecurities. Like, it's hard to find people who are confident and don't have things that they know they don't like about themselves. And if you don't, that's amazing and that's good for you. But with me, I had a whole bunch of things. I'm just like, that's kind of ugly or like not feeling it. The things you don't like about yourself can't be, you can't let people know you don't like them about yourself. You can't let people know I don't like my own nose. Or I don't like my ears. I don't like my forehead. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. You either learn to love it or you just don't let people know that you hate it. That's it. Like I said, I don't like my nose. But let's say, you know, this girl doesn't like me and she wants to come at me and be like, that's why your nose looks like that. Blah, 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 blah. All I'm going to say is just like, that's all you got. My nose. That's it. Like, as long as you're not a shitty person, they have nothing else to insult. So if somebody comes for your looks, what is it? What? Nothing. Nothing. You can't let other people ruin your confidence like looks wise. Like confidence comes from the inside. To me, confidence is the way that you react when people try to take it away from you. If you're a shitty person and they have like real things to say about you, then it's just like you can't really do anything. Like if you did something messed up, and they're getting at you for that and they're not lying it's just like i'll take the hit like i don't there's really nothing you could do with that when people get at you you could tell that you aren't confident if you're talking back that like if somebody were to come at me about something and i'm like no but it's because of this or no don't think that like as soon as you stop caring what people think you're fine my mom says it all the time so she's watching this Hello. I just stop caring. Just stop caring. Stop. Okay. A lot of times it's not worth it. All the things that people have to say are usually just gibberish. The block button is beautiful. You don't have to hear anybody's mouth. You don't even like don't even give them the ability to come at you. The other confidence is like I am that you know, it's all about how you present yourself and like if you think that the you that you are or whatever is the best you, then you should be confident enough to walk around in that you. You know what I mean? Okay, there's like the whole Instagram baddie thing, right? If that's not your type and you're wearing those kind of clothes but you're not comfortable in it, then you're not going to be confident. If you're the kind of girl that you feel comfortable in whatever kind of clothes, whatever kind of makeup, whatever kind of hairstyle, then do that. Cause that's where the confidence comes in because you feel good in the way you are and stuff. Confidence isn't throwing on a pair of heels, put on some makeup and calling it a day. But if that's what suits your boat, suits your boat. If that's what floats your boat, then so be it. Cause that's me. Like if I do my makeup really nice and I get a cute outfit, you know, a little a little salt, salt and do my hair real nice then that's 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 me 
I'm not saying it's all materialistic, but it helps, okay? It helps. Another thing, oh, acne. Acne is a big thing, and it doesn't cost that. It doesn't cost that much to keep your skin like intact. For me, at least, like my problem with blackheads, like I had them all here. I just got a facial, but I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I'm just wearing lip gloss. This is how my skin looks, and a lot of it is is stress. You know, if you're a female, it's hormonal, like those nasty pimples that like grow from under the skin, and it's like you can't even pop it just because it's just a lump in your face eating habits what you drink like when i started drinking more water that helped and yeah so like a lot of times with people part of the confidence thing is because their skin skin wise witch hazel works wonders for like discoloration and scars because i had so many scars Shea moisture soap um my skin is dry for the most part but in the summer it's oily so the coconut one you use in the winter when your skin is dry because it, it like it it moisturizes your face because you know how some washes like it leaves your face feeling like stretched and firm that's what the one i use in the summer does like that one's for the oily skin it just like dries on the whole face so you need a moisturizer using coconut oil in the summer is not a good idea it helps with the blackheads wash your pillows and your pillowcases because that's where all the oil goes and Wearing a bonnet helps just because one, the hair, your hair is not in your face. The oils from your hair aren't getting in your face and getting on your pillowcase, and then again, once again, on your face. Um, it just helps. So yeah, that's the acne part of the whole confidence thing. Um, telling people how to have confidence is one of the worst things you can do. Like I was told to do a video on this, but like you really can't tell people. That's like telling a depressed person stop being sad like you can't tell a depressed person how to not get sad because there's so many ways but it's different for everyone how do you tell someone just feel better about yourself be comfortable on your own body like i'm not i'm not a redundant twitter thread different things work for different people and i don't have struggles that other people have like, with me it's more of a if i'm in a good place my confidence is high if i'm in a bad place Nobody talks to me because I feel and look like shit all the time. Some people don't feel good about themselves because they just feel like they're letting their life fall apart. And they just feel like life is passing them by and they're not doing anything about it. Do things that are productive every single day. Go outside every single day. Fresh air does so much for you. Even if it's cold out, just breathe it. Open a window and breathe it. Listen, the main point of this video is to gain confidence. Stop caring what people say, love yourself, do things for you and nobody else, okay? Don't do anything to please anybody else but you. Live a happy life and do what pleases you and just make yourself happy. Make a list of the things that make you happy or things that you know would make you happy and try to get, do, or achieve everything on that list. And make sure it's really long so like that list can last until you're like 74. Okay, um, thank you for watching. I hope this video was somewhat helpful. I don't really know. I didn't post a video last week because I was dealing with a whole bunch of college stuff and I was getting like overwhelmed with a whole bunch of stuff. Um Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want more topic videos or if you want any other kind of videos. I haven't done a vlog in a long time. If you want a vlog, let me know if you want a vlog or I need to find something to do. If you know something in New York that I could do, that you want me to do, let me know because it's still hot outside. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to say bye anymore in this video. Explain